In Jesus' name, Father, we want to thank you. I want to bless you. I glorify your name, King of glory, Prince of peace, everlasting Father. The I am that I am, the assurance of life, the rock of ages, the ancient of days, the lily of valley, the mighty in battle. We want to thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. You have been there for us. I say all glory be ascribed unto your name. Brothers and sisters, wherever you are in any part of the earth, wherever you are in any part of this nation, wherever you are, I want to say, May the Lord continue to keep you and protect you and guide you in this time and this moment of trials. On Saturday 18th, I said I will continue to guide us on how to pray so that we will always overcome the plans of the enemy so that we will always overcome the coronavirus and other diseases that has been destroying people and nations that may destroy in future. If I abide in this advice, no evil shall be for you. You will be a very strong army in the hands of the Lord Almighty. This is the time to pray. This is the time to increase our prayer fire even in that your house in your home wherever you are make sure you are praying my advice for those who want to be good intercessors in their houses in their homes is this the bible said in isaiah chapter 62 verse 6 i have set watchmen upon thy walls O Jerusalem, we shall never hold your peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. The Bible says, Watchmen shall never hold your peace day and night. As an intercessor, you are a watchman, you are a watchwoman. Also, they shall never stop watching, they shall never stop praying. But the question is, who are the watchmen? Watchmen are mainly intercessors. They watch over the city and are expected to be vigilant. They are expected to be alert. They are expected to be watchful. Therefore, to be a good intercessor, we need to train and equip ourselves for prayers and rely on the grace of God for strength. And good results in the mighty name of Jesus. First Corinthians 14, verse 8. Paul says, I thank my God, I speak with tongues more than you all. Apostle Paul is thanking God because he spoke in tongues more than his fellow brethren. Consequently, if you want to be an excellent intercessor, excellent prayer warrior. If you want to be a one-man army that will disarm the wicked. If you want to be a watchman and become successful in the intercessory ministry. Not only intercessory ministry in different areas with prayers. One of the gifts that you should desire most to be imparted with is the gift and anointing to speak in tongues. As it is written in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 2. What is, what is written there is, For he that speaketh in an own tongue, speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. How be it in the spirit 
He speaketh mysteries. He speaketh hidden things. He speaketh things from from the revelation of the Almighty. Here are tips on how to be a good intercessor and how to stay strong while praying. Because this time and season is not a time to be weak in prayers. For I want to encourage you take these tips serious and guide, I mean, add it to what you received on 18th of April. Number one. Take your bed. If you want to prepare for prayers so that you will not be weak, take your bed. Number two, eat light food and fruits. Avoid beverages such as over tea and meal before prayer time to avoid sleeping while praying. Number three, go to bed early and rest or sleep for at least two hours before the stipulated prayer time. It will help you very well. Number four, be punctual for praying meeting. If praying with a group in your house. Number four, five, when prayer commences, Start slowly and gradually by thanking and appreciating God for all that he has been doing in your life and family as you are praying in your house. Number six, speak in tongues for at least two hours and listen to what the Holy Spirit shall say unto you. Very, very important very very important don't forget he that speak it in unknown tongue speak it not unto men but unto god for no man understandeth him how be it in the spirit he speaketh mysteries number seven in accordance with first corinthians 14 15 Pray always with understanding. Pray also with understanding. Pray also with understanding. Number eight. Declare out prophetically what the Holy Spirit revealed in your spirit as you are praying in tongues. Declare it out prophetically. Make declarations. Make decrees with it. Number nine, do not sit down or stand for too long. Always alternate it. Number ten, walk around to avoid getting bored. Walk around for, to avoid getting bored. Number eleven, avoid areas where the fan or AC, that is a conditioner, is switched on to overcome witness when praying in your house. Number 12, after praying, after praying, keep mobile devices away from you so that you can get clearer revelations from the Holy Spirit because a lot of people, they get distracted with their mobile phones. Number 13, be consistent and persevere with your prayers in your house. 14. Close your prayer with thanksgiving for hearing, for God hearing you and answering you by faith. Close it with prayer, with thanksgiving. With this, as you are consistent, which is number 13 and persevere the Lord will definitely see you through you will always overcome in the mighty name of Jesus even though you didn't 
together in a church in your house it's okay remember in book of acts there we are fellowshipping from house to house so thank god for this opportunity of quarantine it's an opportunity to pray in your house in ezekiel 21 ezekiel 21 verse 6 to 7 the bible said sigh therefore thou son of man will be breaking of thy loins and with bitterness sigh before their eyes in verse 7 it shall be when they say unto thee wherefore sigheth thou that thou shalt answer for the tidings because it cometh and every heart shall melt and every spirit shall faint and all knees shall be weak as water behold it cometh and shall be brought to pass saith the Lord God in line with this is Ezekiel 21 verse 6 to 7 we need to understand that the Lord has called us to pray always and by his grace we will overcome challenges we will overcome the noisome pestilence that is ruining the land such as coronavirus Ebola virus typhoid fever such as malaria known and unknown diseases and afflictions including untimely death and poverty and every works of darkness as a result of the fact that you are born again you are victorious and have overcome the world for the bible says in first john chapter 5 verse 4 he said what soever is born of god overcome the world and this is the victory that overcome the world even our faith because you are born of the spirit be assured that you shall triumphantly overcome the deadly diseases in the world including coronavirus in psalm 91 in verse 3 it states clearly that surely he that is our god shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence in addition in deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 15 the lord says he will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of egypt which thou knowest upon thee they will lay them upon all them that hate thee as you clinch on this the lord shall definitely see you through even in your home even in your house and in your environment in the mighty name of jesus my brothers and sisters wherever you are listening to me from you the youtube i want to declare to your hearing that as you abide by this instruction it shall be well with you you will not die premature death no evil shall befall you in the name of jesus with long life the lord shall satisfy you and your household in the mighty name of jesus show you his salvation the lord will bless you the lord will bless you going out the lord will bless you coming in in the mighty name of jesus you shall not die believe to declare the words of the lord in the land of the living the lord shall restore unto you all that you have lost in the mighty name of jesus may the light that darkness comprehended not shine upon your paths shine in your house shine in your compound shine in your business and destiny in the mighty name of jesus may the peace of god that rule in your hearts in this season and beyond may the favor of the lord compass you as with a shield in the mighty name of jesus there shall be hope for the hopeless may the spirit of truth may the spirit of holiness 
and love find you for great manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus I decree and declare divine health in your portion in your life among your children your husband and brothers and sisters your wife in the mighty name of Jesus father divine majesty himself I stretch my hands unto your people bless them heal them give them peace they will not die premature death we shall all overcome we shall all testify for your goodness and mercy in the mighty name of jesus thank you my brothers thank you my sisters it is well with you all in jesus name we shall come again in jesus name father we thank you begin to appreciate god and as you're appreciating god join me to say lord jesus if you're not yet born again join me to say lord Je lord jesus come into my spirit come into my soul come into my life i yield my spirit soul and body unto you have your way forgive me of my sins forgive me of my weaknesses forgive me of my errors and mistakes in the mighty name of jesus and join me to say thank you Abba father for making me to be born again in the mighty name of jesus you win that premature death it is well with you we shall see again in jesus christ's name we pray amen because you live i can face tomorrow my savior Just because you leave.